The Next Stage program is a continuation of the Heal Her Art Wellness program for women veterans. It's brought to you by the following sponsors, American Legion Auxiliary Foundation, Veterans First Limited, and the Arizona Commission on the Arts. The program will use the same step-by-step -step Heal Her Art instruction, but takes your ability to be creative to the next stage. We're looking for participants who want to learn additional art skills and try different art mediums. Put effort into developing these learned skills, explore personal artistic style and creativity, and we hope that you enjoy the art so much that you'll want to exhibit at the Veterans Creative Arts Festival in February. Please note that funding for this program is dependent on participation, and without funding, there would not be the Next Stage program. So what do you get with the Next Stage program? You get more support. In addition to the virtual Zoom instruction, there is a YouTube support of the new skills. More variety. Each activity uses different mediums such as glass, enamels, and inks. More choices. Each project type is designed to allow you to make multiple art creations. And more rewards. Most importantly, you get to meet other veteran artists through the Creative Arts Festival. So what is the Creative Arts Festival? Well, it starts as a local art competition, and this competition includes categories in the visual arts division, such as oil painting, leather work, sculpture, and drawing. Additionally, there are categories for writing and performing arts. Across the country, the festivals occur annually at the VA facilities. The festival is open to any veteran enrolled at a VA medical center outpatient clinic, or living in a state veteran's home. Winners at the local level move on to the regional and potentially national level. In Arizona, Tucson, Phoenix, and Prescott hold the Veterans Creative Arts Festival in the spring. The entry forms are usually available by January 1st at the VA facility. The artwork is usually due near the end of January. Ladies, if you have never exhibited your artwork into a competition, this would be a great start. Though it's not required to submit, we hope that you are proud of your work and that you want to share it. Please remember, this is a safe environment where you are supported by the Heal Her Art team and your comrades from across the state. Also note, your entry does not have to be from this year or even from this program. If you are physically unable but would like to submit your artwork, Heal Her Art may be able to assist you in getting your artwork to the competition. A nice aspect of exhibiting your work is that you're not required to sit with your art, so please do not let that affect your desire to share your art with the rest of us. I want to also mention that there is no limit on your amount of entries. So we've got two activities planned for you to participate in. Each activity spans over the course of three weeks. There is one interactive Zoom tutorial each week. November's activity is the Dazzling Mandela Triptych. That activity is on Wednesdays. December's activity is the Organic Ink Painting on Tuesdays. Without even knowing the activity details, the dates and days of the week uh, may determine whether you're able to participate. Mandalas, let me tell you about our November activity. Mandalas are usually circular ge geometric patterns and some people find that drawing and coloring these shapes within the mandalas are calming and therapeutic. This kit provides all the materials you will need to make a custom multi-panel work of art. Known as a triptych, the three panels collectively create a beautiful narrative which presents the beginning, middle, and end of a story. The Dazzling Mandela Triptych 
art kit is comprised of acrylic paint, three six by 12 inch canvas panels, and there's a bonus. You'll receive various size and color rhinestones to use as you like. Perhaps each canvas receives a bit of sparkle or maybe just one. It is completely up to you. This activity is on Wednesday, November 4th, 11th, and 18th. The organic ink painting activity guides you through the process of basic alcohol ink. We get to apply and manipulate the ink with rubbing alcohol, our secret additive, to achieve these beautiful organic designs. Once you are happy with your ink creation, you will identify and draw elements with a fine tip permanent marker. Similar to when you look up in the sky and you see identifiable shapes in the clouds, those shapes are special to you and your imagination. I've circled a section of the ink painting enhanced with drawing on the right. That activity is December 8th, 15th, and 22nd. So we would like to know, can you commit? We're ready to accept registration for the November Mandela activity. If you're interested in, in this activity, we ask for a few commitments from you. Please confirm that you are interested in participating in the Veterans Creative Arts Festival. You will assist with procuring your kit and, and a nominal $10 fee towards the art supplies. You can attend the Zoom sessions in November, and you can demonstrate progress on your art projects by sending us a photo occasionally of your creations. Please respond to jlittle at veteransfirstltd.org to register for this event or for more information. If you'd like more information about the Heal Her Art program in general, please email healherart at gmail.com. Perhaps you would like to hear more information about the Mandela activity. So our class in November on Wednesdays will discuss mandalas more in intricately. You will learn various mandala patterns, how to create patterns in a circular mode, design, and then how to paint them. Here are displayed a couple different options. You will get some drawing worksheets to be able to create and design your own Mandela patterns. In December, we have identified that the activity is on Tuesdays. This activity is so neat because you get to identify different shapes that you see in your organic painting. We are using alcohol ink, which is very strong and powerful condensed pigments, and they are uh, diffused with alcohol. We'll also be using a metallic ink to disperse throughout our paintings. So there's a few questions about the program that I have listed here that people commonly ask. How many kits do I get with $10? One kit per $10 and one kit per person per activity. Can I register for all activities? Currently, we are registering for the November activity. And please keep your eyes peeled for our emails for registering for the December activity. Can I get kits for all activities at the same time? Unfortunately, we only distribute the kits for the current activity. Do I have to do the guided project with the kit? Yes, initially I give you instruction and you follow to learn about the materials and the skills. From there, you can do whatever you like with the project and the kit act, uh, materials. Can my friends and family participate? Absolutely. They, if they are qualified based on the Heal Her Art criteria for this program, they can participate. Can I commit to those? Uh, I can commit to those dates and times, but I may have a medical emergency or appointment. We will connect with you via email to ensure that you get the class materials, but we also ask that you communicate with us if something like this occurs. 
We do record the Zoom live sessions, and so they are available to view at a later time. Do I have to submit artwork into the Veterans Creative Arts Festival? No, but we really would like for you to and encourage you to, and that's what this program is designed for, to get as many registrants as we can so that we have a fantastic exhibition here in Phoenix and our other participating uh, VAs. How many works of art can I submit? You can submit as many as you like, so why not rack up the rewards for submitting your artwork? Can I submit large sculptures? Of course, you can submit artwork of various materials and mediums, but Heal Her Art is able to help connect you with the staff to arrange for the exhibition space and when you can submit your work. Do I have to be registered with the VA healthcare system to participate in this Creative Arts Festival? Absolutely, yes. It is the Veterans Creative Arts Festival and they want you to be registered with the VA healthcare system. Where can I get kits for friends and family? So once you're registered, you'll receive a resource email that will have details from creativelyphoenix at gmail.com. This will identify where you can obtain additional kits for purchase for friends and family. They're not able to participate in the live Zoom sessions, that's just for our group only, but they will have resources available, available to them in the kit and also virtually with vi video tutorials. Thanks so much for listening to this informational uh, video for the Heal Her Art Next Stage program. We want Arizona women veterans to participate and we hope that you are one of them. If you answer yes to these statements, you definitely, definitely qualify. I'm a female veteran living in Arizona and registered at a local VA hospital. I may be interested in submitting art into the local veterans Creative Arts Festival, and I enjoy learning and trying new art mediums. Again, I've got that email address on the slide there for you to reach out for more information and to register for our November activity.